Hi there game developers, welcome back to another exciting Unity tutorial. In this video, we are going to dive into creating a joystick for target movement in the penalty game. So grab your Unity seats, roll up your sleeves, and let's get started. The first step is to set up the images for our joystick. We need two images, one for the base of the joystick and another for the draggable part. Create an image, assign the base image sprite to it. This will be the stationary part of our joystick. Now, let's create the draggable part of the joystick. This is the part that players will interact with to control the target's movement. Create another image. This will represent the draggable part of the joystick. Customize its appearance to make it look like a joystick handle. Now, we will create To make our joystick functional, we will create a script, call a joystick. Attach the script to the joystick button. Once that's done, let's delve into the code. The max distance variable determines the maximum distance the joystick handle can be dragged from its center. Then we use handle rep transform as reference to the rep transform of the joystick handle. Start position will store the initial position of the handle, while input vector represents the joystick's current state and will we use it to control the target's movement. In the start method, we get references to the required components and store the starting position of the handle using on drag method. We calculate the position of the pointer event within the joystick's parent rec transform using on drag method when the player drags the joystick button. If the distance from the starting position exceeds max distance, we adjust the position within the max distance. We update the handle's position and calculate the input vector based on the handle's movement. To reset the handle's position to its starting position, and reset the input vector we use on end drag method, which will be called when player releases the joystick button. In, in get input vector, we return the calculated input vector. Now, in the target script, we need to integrate this joystick movement to the target. Create a reference to the joystick script. In the start method, we find the joystick game object in the scene and get its joystick component. In the update method, we use the get input vector method to get the horizontal and vertical input values from the joystick. That's it. With these steps, we successfully created and integrated 
a joystick for controlling the target's movement. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more Unity tutorials.